Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So I'm looking at this interesting algebra problem, the radical equation from Finland Math Olympiad. The question is how to solve x is a real number, square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus x is equal to cube root of the x. Okay, so for this question, I'll be letting this right hand side, the cube root of the x as k, right? So let k as this cube root of the x. And this is telling us that your k cube is going to be equal to x, right? So using this, we can rewrite your equation as square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus k cube. This is now equal to k. So that's why if you square your left and right hand side, then we will have 1 plus square root of 1 plus k cube. This is equal to k, right? So what I'm going to do is I'll be subtracting 1 from the left and right hand side. So if you go ahead and do this, then we will have 1 plus square root, not 1 plus. It has to be just a square root of 1 plus k cubed. This is going to be then equal to k squared minus 1. So that's why now at this time, if you square your left and right hand side one more time, right, then we can rewrite this as just 1 plus k cubed. This is equal to k squared minus 1 squared. Okay, so if you take a look at your left hand side, and k cubed plus 1, 1 is 1 cubed too. So since k cubed plus 1. This is equal to parenthesis k plus 1 times k squared minus k plus 1. And at the same time, this k squared minus 1 is equal to k plus 1 times k minus 1, right? So we can rewrite this as now. Okay. We can rewrite this as First of all, k plus 1 times k squared minus k plus 1. Okay, this is going to be just equal to, now at this time, k squared minus 1 squared. So that's why your right hand side, we will have k plus 1 times k minus 1 times another k plus 1 times k minus 1. So let's first consider case number 1, right? Case number one is if this k plus one is not equal to zero, right? Then we can cancel those two terms out, k plus one and k plus one. Okay, so let's analyze this case. So in this case number one, then we can rewrite your equation as now k squared minus k plus one. This is going to be um, equal to k plus one times k minus 1 squared, right? Okay, then on your right hand side, we can distribute this as k plus 1 times k squared minus 2k plus 1. Still distributing, then you will have k cubed, and then plus k squared minus 2k squared minus 2k, and then plus k plus 1. So, you can rewrite this as now then k cubed uh, minus k squared minus k plus 1. Right. Then from this equation, from k squared minus k plus 1, this is equal to k cubed minus k squared minus k plus 1, right? So we can cancel some of the terms out. We can cancel those two ones out and then those two negative k's out. So we can rewrite this as then, right, k cubed minus 2k squared is equal to 0. So we can pull this k squared out. Then you will have k uh, minus 2 inside of your parenthesis. So that's why from this we can say your k is going to be either 0 or 2. This is what we have from this case number 1. Then we need to consider case number 2, right? Case number 2 is going to be then, 
If you consider the main equation, case number two is going to be if k plus 1, right? If k plus 1 is now equal to 0, then we can simply say your k is going to be negative 1. So there are total three numbers of the k that we need to consider, right? k is now equal to negative 1, 0, and 2. But at the same time, we said cube root of the k is equal to x. So that's why now we need to consider case number 1. k is equal to negative 1. That means cube root of the x is equal to negative 1. So that is why x is equal to negative 1. Case 2. k is equal to 0. Simply in this case, your x is equal to 0. Case number 3. If your k is equal to 2, right? Then cube root of the x is equal to 2, which means your x is equal to 8. Okay, this is what we have. So for those three cases, we have three numbers of the x, negative 1, 0, and 8. Maybe not all of those numbers will be the solution that we call the extra new solution. So let's actually check. So the number of the x that we need to consider is x is equal to negative 1, 0, and 8. Okay, so your equation was square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus x. This was equal to x, right? So let's analyze case number 1. If your x is equal to negative 1, then we will have square root of 1. Okay, that, is that equal to cube root of... Okay. Is that equal to cube root of negative 1, which is equal to negative 1 or not? They are not equal, right? So that's why x is equal to negative 1 is an extraneous solution. Case number 2, if your x is equal to 0, then you will have square root of 1 plus 1, which is equal to square root of 2. Is that equal to cube root of 0, which is then going to be equal to 0 or not? They are not equal. So that's why x is equal to 0 is also an extraneous solution. Lastly, if your x is equal to 8, right? Then your square root of 1 plus square root of the 9 is equal to 3, which is then going to be equal to square root of 4, that is 2. Is that equal to cube root of the 8, which is still equal to 2? Yes, they are equal. So that is why only x is equal to 8 is going to be your solution in real number, right? So as for this question is... x is equal to 8. This is the final solution for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting question from Phil and Matt Olympiad. So I'll be back with more videos for more questions like this sometime soon.